Well, hello there, Virgo. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your weekly tarot. This is good for the week of July 25th through the 31st. We're at the end of July. Just uh, scary how fast this is flown by this month. So let's take a look. We're going to take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. If you're... Um, enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I am also having a um, giveaway so uh, for one free personal reading. If you're interested, the information is at the end of this video. So um, I hope you'll take a look at that. And so let's get into your reading. Let's see what your overall energy is. Community. Right away, I got this strong sense of family coming through here. Uh, Treasure Island. Yeah, I, I, there's just this sense of feeling really grateful for um, certain people, situations in your life that are giving you this sense of community. You see how that mama giraffe is like nuzzling the little baby giraffe, right? It's almost as if maybe for some time you have felt like you haven't been truly loved or appreciated by the people in your life. And now all of a sudden, it's kind of like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I think I am loved. It's just such a warm and um, nurturing feeling. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Deception on the bottom. We're going to take a look at that, but I almost feel like it's you have been in some ways sabotaging your own sense of feeling worthy of, um, of this connection of these people, you know, traveling. Yeah, look at this. You know, trying to um, put distance perhaps between yourself and other people. And now you're understanding, well, wait a minute. Um, almost a sense of, wait a minute, these people really do love me. You know, interesting. You could, uh, you may not have put it literally physical distance. You could have. A lot of you could have been traveling. But it's almost this energy of putting mental emotional distance between some yeah people or situations oh my goodness nine of pentacles you know that it's the single lady card but it's about taking action about you know having your freedom i feel like you're trying to okay it's almost this energy of wanting to gain your own independence and away from a certain group of people and yet at the same time there is this energy of yeah, but I do, I do have a strong connection to these people. So it's really, um, yeah, wanting to work on this. Not sure where this is all leading. A strong energy here of um, lots of cancer energy, watery energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer or another water sign, but you don't have to be. Um Okay, so let's see what we have here. This is, sorry, the garbage. <laughs> um, so we have New Beginnings and the High Priestess. You have a new beginning happening here. It could be like you're reconnecting to these people or you could be wanting to move away from this person or group of people. But there's this veil you're not really sure what lies behind the veil. I actually feel the, the energy I'm getting is that you're actually hiding your feelings about this situation. The part of the new beginning, I feel, is like kind of stepping into this energy of, yes, I want my independence, but I also... It's almost like a redefining of the relationship that you have with these people. So let's see. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, The Fool. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups on the bottom. Lots of uh, water energy here. So with the Wheel of Fortune and The Fool, it's like th some new opportunity is opening up for you, for you to go in a new direction. You're not really sure where it's going to lead you. You could have come into a sum of money somehow. You know, you could have won the lottery. <laughs> you could have, you know, had an inheritance given to you. 
you could have had some kind of a payout, you know, like a financial payout, like an insurance settlement or something like that. This is putting you onto a new path and yet you're not really sure where is this path going to lead me? How, how is this sense of community either going to be able to go with me or maybe not, you know? Yeah, I feel like this is like a gift from the universe. And yet at the same time, there's also this energy of uh, not knowing what to do. Yeah, because we have the two of swords, intuition and manifestation. It's almost as if you had manifested having this independence and freedom from this community. Mm. Libra energy on the bottom. That's interesting that I picked that one up to be fair, the justice energy. It's almost as if you have manifested this and yet now that you have it, you're not sure what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. It, it's almost this energy of, of almost wondering if you really deserve it. You know, like you, you get an inheritance or you win the lottery or you get some big payout, right? And you're kind of like, Wow, I really was wishing for this, but do I deserve it? Did I really earn it? Really, uh, strange energy, strange energy. Yeah, lovers, king of pentacles, page of pentacles, the emperor. For a lot of you, I feel like, you know, there's, with the lover's card, Gemini energy, it doesn't have to be Gemini, but, you know, the energy of almost wanting this financial stability, this true love, situation you may have put so much time and energy into building an empire and then you realized wait a minute i i got all this money or i inherited this money i got everything i was manifesting right um and and i'm still feeling drained it's it's not giving me the true happiness that i wanted you know the lover's card is about also making choices that are good for you that are based on what it is that you want in your life and yet I feel as if you're not really sure. It's once again, this energy of, I really wanted something, it came in. And now it's like, I'm not having the emotional connection to it that I thought I would have. You're kind of wondering like, why am I almost like, uh, it's almost like you're, you're, you're not allowing yourself to enjoy what it is that you have created or manifested in your life. You're just, you're questioning, why did I get it? Why, why is this here? What do I do with it now? Really, um, yeah, because here, status quo is, I feel like you have a, a, a decision here, you know, status quo or stepping into a new chapter. I feel like you want to step into this new chapter, but it's going to take some work. It's about letting go of what you thought that you wanted. I feel like you thought that you wanted something and now you're kind of like, no, I don't think that's what I really wanted. So now what do I do? <laughs> because you kind of like brought something into your life that has truly changed your life, but is kind of like, yeah, but I don't, status quo is kind of like, I don't have any emotional connection to this. So now what do I do? Huh? Yeah. Knight of cups, three of swords. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Three of Wands. Hierophant on the bottom is really about getting, you know, um, yeah, what is going to bring you love and joy? I, I feel like you're going in a new direction. Your whole belief system about this came in, okay? This came in. This is what you wanted, whatever it is, okay? It came in. That's what you thought you wanted. And now you're realizing, no, it's not really what I want. So it's, or it's not giving you the satisfaction. Maybe your community, okay, your family or something doesn't think you deserve it, right? Or there's some sense of, of deserving here. Do I deserve this? Am I worthy of this? Um, yeah, so I feel as if you're a little bit heartbroken, disappointed. This came in. I thought I was going to be really happy. I thought I was going to be joyful. And meanwhile, my heart is disappointed. I'm not feeling the emotion that I thought it would bring it. 
I thought this, you know, knight was going to come in, deliver this, what I was manifesting. But it's disappointing. It's not the way it should. I, I wanted to feel. So it's about trying to decide, what do I do from there? You know, two of pentacles, not sure. It's about taking time to go within. What is it your heart really wants? I think you thought that you knew what your heart really wanted. Um, and now you're kind of like, no, wait a minute. I think I want to choose again. And there's nothing wrong with that, Virgo. I feel like that's where you are. It's almost a little bit of, you know, yeah, I, I want to go my own way. I want to do my own thing. Um, you may be separating yourself from a cancer energy. You see how cancer is going one way and, you know, the this nine of pentacles. I think this nine of pentacles is you. Is looking the other way. You know, just kind of like, okay, I, I think we, we're going to agree to disagree. Hmm. So let's um, pull a soul truth card. Let's see where this is going. Interesting energy. Because I feel like you are truly disappointed in either a relationship or a situation. Something that you thought was really going to bring you happiness. Do I know all my strengths and am I using them? Interesting one. We all have superpowers, but it's up to us to uncover them. When we live and lead with our strengths, we are able to show up in our zone of genius. This inspires others to do the same. Ask yourself, how can I use one of my soul gifts today to contribute to this open and ready world? I feel like you're almost having, it's almost like this existential, I don't want to say crisis, but moment, okay, where I feel like you may have manifested a lot of money or tangible things into your life. But once you acquired those, you were just like, okay, but the rest of my life is really in shambles. It's almost as if, Okay, I've really and truly focused on something, bringing in something. And now that it's here, it's not what I really thought it was going to be. I feel like you're almost feeling as if your family or your society, your group of friends may have convinced you that this is how you could show your worth to the world or something like that, or this was your gift to the world. And now you've manifested it and it's like, no, wait a minute. That, that's not it at all. It's that feeling of climbing like the corporate ladder. You know, you've heard the saying climbing the corporate ladder and you get to the top and you realize the ladder's been on the wrong building the entire time, right? It's almost as if you've gotten to the pinnacle of some part of your life and now you're realizing, wait a minute. You could be realizing, wait a minute, I'm here all by myself. I've kind of like shoved other relationships or people. I want to go back and I want to regroup with some people or situations in my life that I kind of put to the side in order to put my focus into manifesting this. And now that I've manifested it, it's not really bringing me what I really wanted in my life. So the thing is, is going back, asking yourself, okay, what are my soul gifts? Am I using them to contribute to this open and ready world? I feel like you got confused, perhaps. But it, don't remember, this is all on your path. You were meant to take that tangent, let's say, okay? And focus on the 3D or something like that. You were meant to do that so that it would help you to come into alignment with understanding that when you're chasing things, right, instead of being in alignment with your soul's purpose, what happens is that you end up in this type of situation where now you're starting to question, you know, choices that you've made in your life. Don't worry about it. Don't put a lot of time and energy about looking at the past and saying, what if, right? Instead, it's kind of like, okay, how am I going to move forward? How am I going to take my strengths, my special gifts, my talents to help others, to contribute to the world? 
instead of focusing on how much money I can bring in or how many tangible things I can acquire, all of a sudden your focus is on how can I contribute to the world. And through that, you will still have financial stability, okay? Um, but the it'll be different because now you're going to be focused on what you are sharing with the rest of the world. Really <laughs> lovely energy here, Virgo, because I really feel like you, you're, you're going to quickly kind of get back into alignment with your soul's purpose. It's almost like you have this epiphany and you're kind of like, okay, it doesn't mean that the career that you've had or the business that you've started is wrong. It's just changing your perspective instead of looking at how much money is it bringing me. It's like, how much am I contributing with this business? Okay, some of you may be changing careers or something, but I feel like for some of you, it's just tweaking your perspective of what it is that you're doing um, or your approach to what you are creating. Really lovely energy. Um, okay, so I do do personal readings. If you're interested, the link is in the description box below. Um, I uh, also am having a giveaway, a contest to give away one free personal reading to enter the contest. All you have to do is simply um, comment to this video and somewhere in your comment put light and love and that enters you into the contest. I will be pulling the winner on July 25th. Um, so um, I look forward. I hope, uh, you know, I wish I could give everybody a reading, but I really do appreciate all of your support of my channel. And so I am really excited to have this giveaway. And I do wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.